when the drugs kick in. Oh my god. Hello, my name is Markiplier. Welcome back to three scary games and to me. Spooky intro. Did I scare you? Welcome to Mother's Little Helper, which is a game about me being Mother's Little Helper? Me being a mother and I have a little helper? I'm assuming it means that I'm the little helper. Don't make yourself useful in the kitchen. We've got company coming over. Hello, child. Here to help out? I don't know why mom sounds so old. Your father's guests are ravenous. Let's do our best to please them. Don't worry. I'll always be here to help. I don't know. I don't... This recipe is simple. Even a child can do it. Uh, ma! Ma, ma. Some herbs would be best. They should be in the cabin. Ma, why are you floating? Ma, why are you... Why are you floating? Why, why are you breathing like that? Ma, are you, uh... <laughs> what is going on with you, Ma? Ma? Hey, Ma. All right. Hey, don't you worry about a thing. That's what I'm here for. I'm your little helper. <laughs> Jesus, all right. You know how your father can get... I don't remember the beatings, you know. I just don't remember. I'm still here waiting. Okay, you can cut the attitude a little bit, Ma. And put drop in you know, the whole bottle. Do I just drop the whole bottle in, Mom? Why are you... Why are you breathing like that? Why? Mother, give me some vegetables from the shelves. Why, <laughs> Ma? Hey, Ma! How you doing, Ma? Hey, oh, where are you looking away from? Look me in the eye, Ma! Look me in the eye! <laughs> why aren't you looking at me? Lexi, you know, she kind of looks a bit like you. The resemblance is uncanny. No? I can't tell the difference. Okay, well, I don't know. All right, a bit. <laughs> that's... I don't know if you think that's supposed to be a carrot. Um... <laughs> Ma, Ma, this... Ma, this ain't no carrot. <laughs> Carrots aren't orange all the way down to its flared base. All right, fine, Ma. Okay, sure. Whatever you, whatever you say. Whatever you say, drop it here. I can't go in hold. Chop it up nice. Okay, you got it, Ma. Oh my god. Ah, yeah. I love it when my carrot explodes into blood balls and bounce into infinitesimal small spaces in the floor. I love that. Is it squeaking? Am I crazy? Is that squeaking? Oh, I'm done now. Can you look in the larder? I think it is what has what we need. Ma, I don't think it's been called the larder since 1682. I think we call it the pantry, but all right. You got it, Ma. Get the onions. Is this where I die? This is this where you kill me? Why aren't you looking at me, Ma? Why? We mustn't tarry. He might get cross. Oh, no. What? What is? What is? Why is the air snowing upwards? Okay, I'll get That's not it, Ma. That's a pumpkin. Ma, Ma, I don't know what's wrong with you, Ma. I think that quickly or it won't turn out right. Ma, all right, you know what, Ma? Oh, just drop it in whole, like the can of spy. Okay, just pop, all right. Yeah, don't cut that up. Sorry, Ma. Oh, no, Ma, wait, no, hang on. Pick up meat, well, Ma. Your, uh, um, your worms are loose. You got it, Ma. Ma, how you, uh, how you breathing? You breathing good? You breathe good? You breathe good? Oh my god, I promise I'm where you left me. What? I don't know. Okay, well, I wasn't worried about that. Why am I holding it like this? Why am I holding it by the eyes? Why am I- why, who holds a fish by the face? Oh, they are ravenous! Oh, okay, ma! Gotta chop this one up too, we can't leave it like that. Carve it into pieces. Okay, you got it, Ma. Wumpus, chumpus, lumpus, lumpus, crumpus, mumpus, zumpus, yumpus, gumpus, crumpus, bumpus, fiddly dumpus, kerbrump- uh, uh, dumplius, flumplius. Why is that? Final ingredient should be tucked away in the corner of the ladder. Ma! Oh, no! Oh, okay. Oh, whoa. oh, okay. All right. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, my, my, you got. 
got some schmutz on your face. Looks at you, now the, the resemblance is uncanny. You're beautiful. <laughs> Just like, oh my God. I thought you were here to help. Ah, you know what? Oh, you. Hey, you know, yeah, of course I pick up bleach. Oh, good. Ooh, that's fun. You got it, Ma. I'm Mama's little helper. Find your way back. Don't leave me alone with him. Okay. All right, Ma. You got it. I see why you're making me do all this. I see. Ooh. Oh. Oh my god! Ma? Ma, where'd you go? Pick up meal. Yeah, delicious fish head stew. I love my mom's authentic grin cooking here. What a good little upper we have. Oh, where are you? Ma, did you run? Oh god. Oh no. I love the eye. Very glitter. Drop it there. Dinner's ding ding! Dinner's ready. Everybody eat up. Yeah, I have a good one. And the lesson here is that there's nothing quite like a home-cooked meal made by family. I love that. That was fantastic. I was weirded out the whole way through. It was just disturbing. But I liked it. That was very good. I thought that was fantastic. Really did a good job on that one. Thank you, George Simpsons and Jay Clipperton. All right, moving on. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. Welcome to Black Eyes. I don't know if this game is going to give me black eyes by punching me, or there's something with black eyes that I should be aware of. Don't believe her. Remember, she's always a whatever you do, don't let her in. Don't answer the door to your room. Whatever you do, don't let her in. I'm thinking I should answer the door to my room. I don't know what you, about you guys, but I think that I should really let her in. I should really open the door to my room. Erg, I can't sleep. Might as well explore my room. Am I supposed to be a child? Is that what I'm supposed to be? Ah, is this a race car bed? Oh no, it's even better. It's a boat bed. Holy crap, that's awesome. Got my fidget spinner. I got my UK plugs. This is dope. 20 C's. Oh, this is, oh yeah. Look at this little cutie. Wait, it's got black eyes. <laughs> Demon. All right, okay. Oh, wow. Giddy up, horsey. Man, I really like boats, apparently. Look at me. Look at you. Look at you. Look at, oh, look at you. Oh my god, don't look at you. This could be a big black eye for all I know. Oh, look at you. Look at all of you. Who's bling blonging? I got a lot of toys. What more could I ask for? My, my room. All right. Oh, no, where did I put my key? My key? My key to my own door? Is it like under something? Hello? Oh, what the hell? What? What? Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh! Hey! Okay, nothing to say about that. Not a thing. Where are I? I gotta find my key. Where is my key? Yeah, good good question. Where is my key? Okay. At least I got a sword to defend myself with. Well, my room is now an absolute garbage heap. I'm not sure if that's what I was supposed to do, but it's what I- Why? Who did that? Oh, you closed? Why'd you close? Why have you closed your doors to the public? Oh, what? Oh, I'm dead. I fell through the floor. What? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I just spent like six minutes wandering this room. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, where did I put my key? Squeak. Oh, so that, okay, so it's, it, okay, so it is triggers. Okay, so some, oh, okay. Weird, all right. Oh, my goodness, I just used the big wheels. Oh, that was a bad wheel to use, that was a bad wheel. That was the bad wheel, that was the bad wheel. Oh, that was the, oh, hey, hi. 
Hello, hi, ho, hi. Whoa. Oh. Hey, my stuff. What the hell? Why did I not notice this before? I'm guessing I need to find more wheels. Oh, 731. Well, that seems important. Now, where would I be able... Oh, I see. Okay. My secret toy chest. Uh, well, 731. And... Oh, yay. I did it. I did it. And now I will open it up. I will open it up. I will open it. I will open it up. Now I will open it up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hello? Oh, they look so grumpy. Oh, no. Don't cry, you grumpy gushes. Oh, don't cry. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, don't cry, grumpies. Oh, don't cry. It's totally fine. Hello. Hello. Ah, good. Yes, this is fine. Mm. Meow. Oh, oh no. Hello. Kitty, kitty. Pretty kitty cat. Where are you at, pretty kitty cat? Oh. Oh, <laughs> when the drugs kick in. Oh my god. That's fine. That's nothing. You think that's something? That's nothing. That's nothing to me. Seen that a million times. Whoa, hey. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. It, okay. Uh, is this my sister's room or something? Um. Man, my robo brain. Oh, hi. The baby is crying. Baby? You okay, baby? Well, I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to see or do. But I'm not seeing a whole lot and I'm not doing much of anything. Oh, okay, what was that? Oh, hi! Protect your sister at all costs. Whatever you do, don't let her... What's wrong with my sister? What? What? On June 5th, two kids mysteriously disappeared from a residential house in Parkerville. Police are investigating the case. No suspects have currently been found yet. Police suspect foul play, kidnapping, or murder. One police officer found a picture of a kid with black eyes. The picture was found at the doorstep and laid in a pool of blood. Forensics are still yet to confirm who the blood belongs to. The parents were out of town and have been notified of the horrific incident. Well, that was black eyes. I think I got punched in the eyes with spoops. That was pretty good. I had minor death from fall through the floor syndrome, but I'm going to assume that was canon and it's supposed to happen. I didn't break a game again. It just happened that way. But I like that. I like that a lot. That was very good. Moving on. All right, welcome to Veiled. Now, Veiled is a point-and-click style adventure horror game. Much like if you remember way, way back when, like, uh... What was the name of it? Help me, Lexi, and help me. What was the name of it? The point and click. Oh. Oh, Ex Mortis! It was Ex Mortis, right. But it looked like Ex Mortis. I have no any idea if it's anything like that, but given that it's point and click and it's kind of retro, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Hello. Oh, wow. Look at this dial up modem. It has been one year since the incident, one endlessly long year of looking for the truth. You know your child is alive. All the answers must be out there. Okay. Oh, your bag is empty. I didn't know I was playing now. Oh, hours pass. You're exhausted. Oh. That looks like a pug. You finally arrive at the location you've been given. Better keep a low profile and go through the woods. Why? Go back in the car. You shudder at what you had to do to obtain this address. No way you're backing out now. Are you sure about that? <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, okay, enter the forest. You enter the forest. Like, so you make sure that scary music and ambiance is really pumped up to the max. We need the soundscape to really encapsulate people so that they get the full immersive horror experience. 
ominous twisted trees get like creaking and swaying of trees in the wind. Watch you venture deeper into the woods. Give me a hooting of a howl, of a owl, of a howl, hoot now. Everything looks so quiet here. You shiver. Give me a man shivering. Actually, record yourself going, Ugh. Ugh. Good, thank you. You continue until you reach the house. The property is closed off by a large gate. Is that a rabbit? It is too high to climb over. Is your child really here? Abandoned tools. Among the rusty tools lies a big iron bar. This may be useful to break the chain. Seems sturdy enough. Not very subtle, but you need to get in. Okay. There's also a rabbit. Look at the gate. It's locked by an old rusty chain. It has seen better days. Maybe there's a way to break it. Well, I got it. You put all your weight on the bar. The chain finally surrenders. The gate opens with a creaking noise. You enter from the front yard. Put in a clang and a creak. Oh, that's lovely art. This mansion, once opulent, looks rather abandoned. A towering statue seems to watch over the property. Right. Maybe best not to knock on the door, you know what I mean? Examine the statue. Strange, slender, dark silhouettes. They represent a family, but their alien looks give you chills. Let's, uh, let's not knock on the door. Let's go around the right corner. I'm sure knocking on the door would probably be okay, but I'm not going to risk it at this point. The way to the back is blocked by a large empty ditch. A moat? Do they have a moat at this mansion? It's not dry enough to cross. It's a moat! You caught something moving on the first floor. What did I catch moving on? first floor. Examine the building. Crossing the ditch does not seem like a good idea. How big is this ditch? Is it actually a moat? You wouldn't want to get stuck. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. You can distinguish a ghostly figure through the window. That's always good. You call it out, but it suddenly fades away. Why would I call it out if I'm trying to be quiet? Why wouldn't I have just driven my car up here if I was going to shout at the windows? All right, I'll go back to the front yard then, I guess. Maybe there's another way around. How about the left side? You walk along an overgrown French garden. There is a shed on the left. The shed is not locked. Okay, cool, good. Thick layer of dust covers everything. Nothing has been touched in a long time. But it's weird considering I saw people in the house. A ladder rests on the side of the bench. It could be useful to enter the house. I'll take that. It's heavier than it looks. Hopefully you won't have to carry it around for too long. All right. Interesting. Hmm. Search among the clutter. Warped wood planks and broken windows. Nothing useful in there. All right. I guess I'm done here. There's a shed off to the left. Okay. Let's just go to the backyard real quick. Path leads to the backyard. Oh my goodness. A tiled terrace is nestled at the back of the house. Okay. Inspect the window. The shutters are not fully closed, and the window behind them seems open. If you had a way to get up there, you could sneak inside. Oh, I'll do just that. You put the ladder against the wall. It is tall enough to reach the window. You climb the ladder and enter the house. Always a good thing. This was the objective. As you enter, you see someone rushing through the door just below you. Who was he? You run after him. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Terrible idea. The man has disappeared through the door in front of you. Surely he must know something. Or I'll follow the man. You throw yourself at the door in vain. It is desperately shut. But as you inspect it, you find strange contraption beside it. There is a small box besides the door. This high-tech device feels out of place here. Yeah, a little bit strange. It seems like some sort of biometric device. Apparently, it needs to scan your eye and your finger. So I need to get an eye and a finger is what you're saying. Simple as that. All right, let's go to the left. Lock from the other side. Never mind, let's go to the right. You grasp the cold handle. The door seems to weep as you push it open. That's not what normal doors do in my experience, but what do I know? A classy dining room. The silverware has been set and the dinner is ready to be served. But why all this decorum? Was someone expected? Maybe I should have knocked. Look at the buffet. You take a closer look at the frames on the buffet. A few family photos are on display. Okay. Good. Look at the photo. The smile on the man's face makes you uneasy. Smiling kid, pretty uptight. The wedding photo catch your attention. Why? Okay. A happy couple. 
It's the same man that the other photograph, only much younger. Maybe they're your hosts. I don't know, because it's hosts if I'm breaking in. The frame is missing a glass panel. That's odd, yeah, a little bit. I'll just take this for myself, thank you. Broke into your house, gonna steal your wedding photo. Hope you don't mind. Your wife might be dead or something, but I'm taking this for me. Not even gonna sell it. You uncover a hidden compartment with a tape in it. Perfectly normal. You take the tape and inspect it. To my baby is written on the label. Yeah, this seems important. <laughs> I'll just take this. Ugh, yeah, ugh, yeah. Little Lixie, and record yourself being indecisive. Kind of like, oh, well, I don't know if I should do this. You know what I mean? Put that in there. Also, Lixie, and feel free to completely ignore everything I'm asking you to do. <laughs> I don't know if this is too too cumbersome. Just I I I apologize. I humbly apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Psych. <laughs> Inspect the table. Only one plate has been served. Okay. Oh. Ew. France cousin. Apparently, it looks like a foot. Is that a foot? Is that a foot? Yikes. No thanks. <laughs> Yikes. French food? No, thank you. Yeah, I think it looks like a foot. Is that a foot? Is it a foot? Might be a foot. Why is it a foot? Okay, let me go back to the main hall. Uh, I think I can go upstairs, maybe? Because I got this tape, I just need to find a place to play it. I didn't think that this was kind of time period that would have tape cassettes, but whatever. You may find some leads on the fr- I guess I did drive here, so yeah, probably. Okay. What a stark contrast. The Persian carpets on the floor feel rather nice, but the ceiling, however, is falling off. Yeah. Okay, how about this door? The door is locked from the other side. You hear humming coming from the room. Oh, interesting. You knock on the door, but no one answers. Does the humming stop? What kind of madman am I? I broke into this house where clearly there are either people or ghosts. Either way, you wouldn't go knocking on random doors. No, 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 no. The door opens, yeah. Uh, squeak, hello, anybody here? Don't mind me. <laughs> Weirdo coming through. This bedroom is rather cozy. Inspect the door. The door is jammed. The bed, it seems to have been used recently. <laughs> Yeah, this bed's been used recently. There's a family album here. Great, more pictures for me to nab. Wow, these look precious and valuable to someone. Everyone looks sad. Great. You enter the room. Wow. What is that? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? A dirty bathroom. What am I looking at over here? Search the sink. You come closer to the sink. I don't know if I want to. I really don't know if I want to. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hey, I need that, apparently. Ew, as you try to repress a heave, you start to seriously question this place. I'm gonna take this eyeball, but first I'm gonna expect this. It's empty of its contents. Great. This yoink. As gross as touching this eye is, it may work on the door scanner. It's still warm. Great. As you take the eye, you hear a loud tumbling noise coming from the bedroom behind. Tumbling? Someone doing gymnastics over there? What? Tumbling? A dirty bathroom, but tumbling. Tumbling? The bottom of the tub is filled with caked goo. Gross. I'll just take... Yeah, it's caked goo, all right. Very disgusting. Go through the door? Why would I go through this door? What is on the other side? I don't know. That's why I went through it. Oh, a small storage room. Great. I love this. The gentle heat feels comforting. The small iron door is locked. Maybe the key is there somewhere. There? Where's there? Okay, let's go see what the tumbling in the bedroom was all about. Okay, back to the bedroom. Who's tumbling in here? Oh, what is my look? What is that thing? What? Well, you tell me! Ooh, the stench from it makes you rush. What, you, what am I looking at? You get a closer look and notice its surface is slowly pulsing. Oh! Oh lord, something is spurting from one of its pores. Uh, uh, it's spory. <laughs> Approach the dark heap, yep. You step closer to the creature, trying to control your nausea. This is great. Oh my god. Hey, a key. You realize it was a key emerging from the goo. 
I'll take that, yoink. Trying not to touch the flesh, you grab the key with the tip of your fingers. Uh, you hear a very loud noise. It's waking up. What do you mean? How do you know that? It seems to be growing. Well, back to the bowl. Oh, it's coming out. Well, back to the bathroom. You rush to the bathroom, hoping it won't follow you there. Well, something tells me it might. All right, cool. It is following you. Well, great. <laughs> great. It is still coming. Use the key. A good thing that was the key to that door. Jesus. Key found on the creature. Oh, no. You lock the door behind you, hoping that it will keep the hideous thing away. It is pitch black in there. Okay, is that bones? The bright tube light hurts your eyes. What you discover doesn't make you very hopeful. Yeah, it's bones, all right. Planks have been torn away. Looks like the person here was making an escape. You can see a room below. Read the scribblings. The occupant was counting days, and many days have passed, apparently. The skin has shrunk around the skinny bones. It's practically mummified. Wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to try to go down below. You start kicking the remaining planks hard. Their moldy remains break easily. You pass your head in the hole and slip. Head first. Crash. You fall hard into an unknown room. Lixie and Ada, cr a crash, a thunk, and a you grunting. Ugh. Try to make your emulation of the Roblox oof. Oof. Perfect. And then send me that sound file. Oof. The small lounge seems to lead up to a steep staircase. Okay, so I'm behind that locked door. You notice the lock on the door was on. You unlock it and open the door. Sure, yeah, I'll leave that open. I'm not worried about any giant blobs coming after me. Look at the hole. That's where you came from. Let's hope the thing won't follow you. You cautiously start to climb. It's pretty steep. It's like three steps. What do you mean start to climb? It's three. Oh, what the hell? The stairs lead up to the first floor. The first floor? Up the stairsies. Up the stairsies I go. Okay, I'm confused now about the layout of this house. A long corridor spreads before you. You try to be quiet, but the flooring is squeaky. Enter the room. You slowly push the door and enter the room. This looks like a child's room. A small desk full of toys. Great. Good. I have a cassette. Your attention is caught by a toy cassette player. I have a cassette, don't I? There is no tape in it. Play the tape. You insert the tape and press play. A lullaby starts playing. Heartbreaking. Well, I'm glad I did that. Maybe that'll soothe the gelatinous beast. Let's break the frames. There are frames on the wall. A set of formal family photographs. Inspect the frames. Quadruplets, how unusual. Yeah, how unusual. Almost freaky deaky, one might say. Okay, I guess I'll just go then. See you around, kids. See you around. All right, let's go down the hallway. I love this, by the way. I, I know it's slow paced, but it's just, it's perfect. The corridor turns and opens up into a larger room. Strange room. It looks like a bedroom, but the main furniture are gone. Okay, examine the shelves. An odd collection of mismatched books and artifact. Sss. You pick one, but can't decipher the language. You approach the closed door. Oh, big closed door, okay. A wooden sliding door. A beautiful mural is painted on it. Wait, hang on, there's a trinket over here. It's a large seashell with fragrant beads inside. The door seems loosely locked from the other side. You can distinguish the silhouette of a simple latch between the two doors. You could probably push it up with a thin object. Do I have? I have an eyeball. Well, that ain't no thin object, but I could probably find one. Depending on where I look, of course, but I could probably find one. So I can take this eyeball at least to the bioscanner and see what it can do about it. And then try to find something for the uh, latch. The eye's not enough. Okay, so I can't operate it just yet. So I need to get some kind of a fingerprint. Let me go back upstairs and see what happens if... Ooh, wow. Okay. That door's now open. The creature came from here. 
You would rather not know what is inside. I would like to know what's inside. What are you talking about? There's no way you're going back there? Oh, don't be a big baby. Come on. Just go back there. Come on. It's not so bad. This is a big blood blob. Oh, the curtains. Oh, the curtains. You slowly approach your hand and pull the curtain open. Good lord, the poor child. What am I looking at? Quick, you must help him. Who? What? How don't you? What are you looking at? What? With difficulty, you untie the rope on his ankle, but it's too late. What? Oh! He is dead. Oh, no. Who could have done that? You start to weep, thinking about your- Oh, it's my kid! When you reach a close child's eyes, you notice something in his hand. What is it? A card? This is a tarot card. The hanged man, how ironic is it? Is that a sick joke? What's happening? His skin is suddenly very hot. What? Oh my god. Uh, wh what, what, you can't believe what just happened. Poor kid. It breaks your heart. He just burst into flames? We, 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 poor, oh, it breaks your heart when your kid dies and then explodes into fire. Hate it. Yeah, goddamn, okay. Well, guess that's all there is to it then. I guess I'll go home. Maybe I could use a tarot card to unlatch it, I guess. Lift the lock. You insert the card between the two doors. You gently push the lash up and slide open the door. You're immediately seized by a strong acrid smell. Hey, I like that. Give me, give me a taste of that. The memory of the creature flashed before your eyes, but you have to press on. Why does it flash before my eyes? Do I want to know? Something terrible happened here. Okay. Look in the mirror. Let's take a look at me. The reflection. You see something lying in the tub. Yeah. You gather your mental strength and slowly peek at the tub. Oh, someone is lying inside the tub, lifeless. It, am I crazy? This right here, if you squint hard enough, that looks less like a normal hand and that looks like the amnesia monster's big old club hand with long fingernails. Am I crazy or does that look like that? I might be crazy. Little bits of mold are floating in the placid blood. Okay, let's examine. Why did she do that? What is happening here? Examine the hand. Yeah, I'll take one of those. You lean closer to the hand. Mind if I borrow one of these bad boys here? The hand of the woman is hanging from the side of the tub. Despite bright red painted nails, the bloated skin is dark and reminds you of the creature. If this hand belongs to the owner, it may work on the electronic lock. If only you had some way to take it with you. You're right about that. I don't have that. Unfortunately. Oh boy, scissors. What are you going to do with those scissors? You can't believe that you are thinking about this. This house starts to wait on you. You lean closer to the hand. Elixian, cue up the snip snip sound effect. Here we go, snip snip. The horror of the situation is numbing. <laughs> the blade cuts through flesh easily. It feels like there wasn't any solid bones. Great, good stuff. You almost scream as the hand retracts and the body disappears inside the tub. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you can't see anything through the crimson water. Ooh. Ooh. Ripple suddenly appears, a tentacle emerging from the- Oh no! Oh, another tentacle burst out of the dark mass, swinging erratically. You dodge this one, but may not be so lucky next time. How about look at this creature? Your eyes widen in horror? You need to get out of here fast. You stumble back, paralyzed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It keeps coming out. Where is all this coming from? I'm looking in the mirror. This keeps coming out. How is this possible? Oh, smaller tentacles join the party. Oh, no. Oh no, it's getting dangerously close. I'm getting out of here. You crawl out of the bathroom. I'm crawling out of the bathroom. Okay. It knows you're here. It's coming after you now. Oh, oh, how can it be so big? Oh my God, look at that thing. Adrenaline's facing you. That can't be real. Oh my God. I mean, you know, I'd probably go. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go. You know what? I'm not gonna stick around for that. Oh, uh oh. Throw, uh, oh, head bleeding, you're unable to move. The darkness reaches your body and crush you. 
Guess I wasn't fast enough. Oh, here. We're here. Okay, good. Snip, snap, snip, the snoppity snap. Snip, snap, snoopity snoop. Snippity snip, snip, the snip, sap, snoop. Should I look inside the bed? Snippity snip, sap, snoop, and the snoo. Okay, I'm out of here. How do you do? Okay, well, I'm not paralyzed by fear this time. Snippy, snappy, snoop. Okay, goodbye. You face back and start to run. Yeah, good move. Good move. Good move. Is it still coming? Run to the stairs. Out of breath, you rush down the stairs. It's been like 10 feet, man. Pull your jets. Whoa. Ah, that's a tentacle. You throw yourself down, but the tentacle grabs your feet. You lose balance and tumble down the stairs. Ow, oof, ow, ew, ooh, uh, Elixian, put in the proper sound effects. You feel dizzy. Stand up and run. You get back on your feet and run to the lounge. Yeah, you know what? Waiting, probably not the best idea. You almost reach the hall. You boom inside the hall and shut the door behind you. That'll stop it. Long tentacles on that one. You hear the creature crashing on the door. Thankfully, it doesn't open from this side. You are in the main hall. All right, let's go to the bioscanner. Well, this was problematic. I hope the finger hasn't turned into a tentacle. There's a small box besides the door. This high tech feels out of place. Oh lord, what are you doing? You press both eye and finger under the scanner. You squish them hard and you eventually get a reading. <laughs> squish. I don't think the eye you were supposed to squish into there. The result of the using the scanners is a bit messy, but it worked. You hear the door unlock. Nothing stands between the man and you now. This fucking dude. You dive into the passage that just opened. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, man. All these weird blobs, these weird tentacles, no good for anybody. Just as you pass the door, it closes behind you. A huge staircase unfolds before you. You delve down into the unknown complex. At some point, the stairs ends into a large corridor. This looks like Outlast. Remember in the end when you're in the medical corridor and someone gets pulled through the vent right there? That's what this looks like right now. I wonder if it is. <laughs> There's a single door at the end with light coming out of it. Okay. You open the door. The light is blinding at first. Okay. You hear the door lock behind you quickly after you enter. After a few moments, the silence is broken by a crackling speaker sound. Well, we were waiting for you, sir. Please make yourself comfortable and grab a seat. Sure. This seems to open up to another room. You can't see its contents from here. Sure, I'll sit. Indulge me and take a seat, please. You may have all night, but that's not the case for everyone here. Reluctantly, you approach the chair. Let's make a little experiment, you and I, would you? Once seated, you finally get a sight of what is behind the glass. Oh, another dark entity lies inert in the other room. You don't understand what is expected of you now. After a few moments of silence, the man's voice booms again. A touching reunion, really. I'd hate to interrupt, but unfortunately, we need to go on with the procedure. Would you mind having a closer look at our friend here? Sure. You fight your instinctive disgust and try to focus your attention on the creature before you. Ooh! Suddenly it starts to move and rise. Its shape looks strangely humanoid now. Almost familiar. You start to cry. Okay, that's enough. We both know what you are seeking here. I can fulfill your wish, but you need to do one thing for me first. Check the tray on the board, please. Okay. I have no idea what's happening. I'm ready and willing. Oh, the saturated voice is more in it. More and more assertive. You can be together again, you know. But before that, I need you to administrate yourself my special treatment. Ooh, goody. Okay. As your will falters, you take the syringe in your hand. You can't stop the tears flowing down your face. What's going to happen if you do that? Well, there's no other option, so I guess you know. Do it now, screams the voice. Okay, sure. Your mind is broken. There's nothing you can do now. You see yourself inserting the needle inside your arm and press the syringe. What now? I have two hands. Oh boy. Uh, suddenly a tide of pain rushes through your whole body. Oh my goodness. You can't move. You can't breathe. And a nightmarish buzzing sound is filling your ears. As you feel your body stretch and change, everything becomes more and more distant. Even the sound, even the pain is fading out except for a small humming voice. 
As the suffering slowly fades, you start to remember that voice that you missed for so long now. And that sweet face. Daddy? The end. The hell? A game made for Akbik by Remy Bismis and Nicholas Millard. Thank you for playing. I don't know if that was supposed to be a touching moment at the end there, but just in the back of my mind, I just saw like a big hand slaps on the on the on the window. It's just like, boom, daddy. <laughs> just like, oh, all right, that was great. I loved that. Every second of that, I loved. It was a little slow, like with the like the stylization of loading and unloading through the through the different places. I feel like it could have been better served if it was just a little bit faster, but still for the style, I love the commitment to it. It was great. Fantastic. I really enjoyed that thoroughly. Very, very good. What a wonderful experience. Many likes for you. Many big subscriptions for you. Many ring-a-ding-dongs of the bell for you. Thank you. All right, that is it for three scary games with three scary games. Technically, three scary games. Pretty good deal. I've got a huge <coughs> This has been a heist with Markiplier. Four. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you want more scary games, write them down in the comments below or in the <laughs> description, right? down below ring that bell ring ring please do and as always i will see you in the next video bye bye